Hi, and welcome to another video by The Peppy Techie. Today I'd like to talk to you about USB-C hubs for the iPad Pro 2019 version. I have the new 12.5. I went from Lightning to USB-C and needing a lot of power to run that new iPad. And one of the biggest problems I had, of course, was the hubs. So the first one that I ordered immediately when I bought it, because I use these off my old iPads, I use these off my iPhones that I used to record with, and obviously I need the USB 3.0 or 2.0 to use for my hard drives, uh, HDMI to attach to a monitor, the USB-C connector for charging. So I wanted a different hub. So this is what I came up with. I did try some different hubs. This is a seven in one hub. It has HDMI. It has the connector for the USB-C. It has these little sliders, which you can remove if you choose. I choose to keep them. It helps keep it nice and stable, it locks it in, okay? You have over here the USB 3.0, and most importantly, the SD and the micro SSD card reader. So I can have this to read my photography or videography files off of. And this is a USB-C data, and this is for USB-C charging. And right here you have a headphone jack, which is also really necessary for me when I'm working on my videos. This is a great little hub, so I'd like to show you how it works on the iPad. Let's get to it. First of all, I now have it plugged in. You can see these little connectors here that allow it to kind of to keep it a little more rigid in there. It doesn't move around. Without it, it feels to me like it could bend the connector. So I do keep these on. Let's just take a look at what this all looks like. So I'm gonna slide this in. We'll go to Files. And I'm gonna show you, there it is. There's the SanDisk 16, that's what that is. And there's the system volume. There's really nothing on here. Obviously, if I take some pictures, I could move them off. But I can also move things onto this. So I'll come here to on my iPad and download it. I'll take this image right here and I'm just going to say save to files and I'll come down here. I'll find the sand disk. I'll say save it. Say done. Now I'll come down to the SanDisk 16, and of course there is my image right there. I will tell you one of the things about this, you cannot have two in at the same time. So if I put this one in, you'll notice it does not pop up. The sand disk was first and it stays there. So if I take the sand disk out, there we go. It says untitled. I didn't name it when I bought it. So it actually does have some pictures and some things from my uh, drone. So there's a little drone video. And now if I wanted to, of course, I could move this from the SSD card and I could save the video to my, so both ways works great. So now the other thing I can do is I can take any hard drive and hook it up. Okay, you can see there's the power light and it is on. We'll go back to files. There it is, the SS256. This is what I use to back up all my LumaFusion files on. I also went out and got some things off of my iPad that were kind of filling them up and I put them here. So if I do want to use them in the future, all I have to do is come here to select and grab this. I can either move it or share it which is the easiest way, and then just say save image. And now when I come back in, there's my image right there. So I can take anything off that hard drive and put it onto my iPad I want to. And that's why I like this little hub. It is This is still a great hub and I love using it. I can also use this USB 3.0 hub for my microphones and they work great as well. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Hope you'll subscribe to the Peppy Techie channel. Please make sure you hit the bell so you'll be notified when I make a new video. And leave your comments down below. Your questions, your thoughts, even your advice is much appreciated. And don't forget to smash that like button. Thanks for watching the Peppy Techie channel.